I'm super excited. I just got this FedEx package in the mail. Overnight delivery from Michigan with my Amazon tree boa. So I'm just gonna open this up here and really excited to put it into the terrarium. All right, yeah! PHB, thanks a lot. Some nice foam there on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the terrarium all ready so I can just go straight into there. Um, you can see the terrarium right there. I did a video on it the other day. And what I'm gonna do, I've had the, I'm gonna check the, the, the heat again with this thermometer. But I'm gonna go ahead and take um, these lamps off so I can just have really easy access into there once I get the snake out. Um, I'm gonna turn this heat lamp off temporarily. Set that down here. Yeah, I just want this to be pretty smooth once I get the snake out. So the air temperature in here, in a lot of these spots, is 73, 74. Um, the basking spot up here is right about 80. Um, I'm going to be getting another lamp to go into that nano duo dump. This dome right here. Um, right now I have the ceramic one. I'm going to get the basking one too, and then I'll be able to get the basking spot temperatures up into the 90s, which is what this animal wants for its basking spot. Basking spot right now is um, high 70s, low 80s. All right, so let's back back to the box here. Uh, now that I got that all set up. And you can see that um, there's that nice foam on top, so I'm gonna take that off. That helps with the insulation. I'm gonna probably try to talk a little bit quieter here so I don't stress the animal out. Okay, there's one of the heat packs right there, you can see. Still really warm in here. Let me test the temperature in here. So it's 79.5 on the paper in there. Ooh, the pack itself is showing at 108, but there's this paper protecting the um, protecting the little container that the Amazon tree bow is in. I'm going to go ahead and pull out that paper. Oh, wow, it's looking at me. All right, so here's the container right here. You can see this, this bow is ready to come out. Um, this little guy is so cute and totally ready to come out of this container. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not with the glare. Alright, so now I'm going to take this little guy out of here. You can tell it's ready to come out. Look at how inquisitive it is. And so this is an uns unsexed Amazon tree boa um, from BHB. Wow, look at him coming out like that. Hey, guy. So they can be pretty nippy. They're a pretty nippy species, pretty nippy genus. This is in the Coralus genus with the um, emerald tree boas also. And just look at the way that he's sort of extending. Part of why they're nippy is probably because 
their feeding response is, is definitely connected to heat. Um, so is their sort of defense response. And so they sense heat from the human hand. And you can see it just really outstretching towards the camera a lot here. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over the enclosure. I would love to play with him, but I think that the best thing to do would be to get him into the enclosure um, really with the least amount of stress and stimulus in general as possible. So let's see here. Definitely looks like he's he's interested in exploring upwards. Right, come on. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, try to touch him a little bit here to get him to come up into the enclosure. Oh, did you see that? He just bit me. So touching him definitely was not, he was not really stoked about that. Let's see if I can get him to come out over here. Got a little pinprick of blood where he bit me. I didn't feel anything, but he must have really sharp, small little teeth. He, he's going towards the light now. Do you see that? It looked like he actually nipped at the light. Look how slender, look how slender he is. I'm saying he, but I don't know this is an unsexed boa. Let's go, it's looking at that water, it's looking at that water dish right now. But I don't want him to go up too high because I need to put this lid back on. Yeah, he's definitely going up towards that light. Okay, there he goes. Look how long, it's very slender, but stay on in there. So this time I'm not going to use my hand, I'm going to use um, something that's not warm to sort of push him back in there. Also something that will not see where he bit me right there. See where it bit me. Alright, come on back in there. He's kind of chilling right there. There he goes, okay. He's, he's right on the basking spot right now, so that's that's pretty much perfect. That's the warmest spot in there. I'm gonna do an extra misting right now, actually. Well, I'll wait and I'll, I'll get some warm water and do a misting. Make sure the humidity's high. They need extra humidity when they're babies or when they're small like this. Okay, so the lid's on and I'm gonna use the, even though I don't think he's gonna push the lid open, I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And I think he's looking for extra warmth. Um, so I'm going to put that ceramic heater back on right away. Got the latch down there. The little bite he gave me is stinging a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to get this ceramic heater on here. It's been on already in the tank, but I just turned it off temporarily while I, I took the thing off. So there you go. Um, Amazon tree bow is inside. I'm going to call it Kisomba until I, I don't know if it's a male or female yet, but hopefully I'll find out in the future. Um, that's basically the unboxing. I'm really excited. Really excited to share more as the snake gets more adjusted to this enclosure. So let me go in there a little bit and just get a little bit of a video close up as he moves around and explores. As it moves around and explores. But it looks like um, it looks like the way the enclosure is set up is gonna be pretty good with lots of climbing places. Uh, the snake's definitely exploring a little bit right now, checking it out. Probably pr pretty excited to not be in a FedEx box anymore. And you can see it's quite a long snake, but very slender. All right, so that's basically it for the unboxing uh, of my Amazon tree boa. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the snake alone 
so that it can get, you know, adjusted and just sort of chill out and start getting used to this new enclosure. But super excited about it and I'll post updates in the future.